Hello, this is tutorial number two in my series um, of my favorite Live9 feature, Audio to MIDI. And uh, in the last tutorial, I've shown how to create beats that way with the drums to MIDI function. This is the result. And that is the original. Quite different. All right, so and in, in this video, I want to show you how to use the harmony to MIDI function creatively. And I think we'll just make a pet sound. All right, I've chosen an audio file already, so it'll be faster. Um, and this is me playing ukulele. So I'm gonna move the start point now to bar five because that's where it starts. And also just use four bars. Should be enough. Let's just quickly hear it. Okay, change the... Sounds a bit better and complex. All right, and now let's convert harmony to a new MIDI track. So for the harmony to a uh, new MIDI track function to work well, it should be um, just chords that you can, you know, no beats or anything else, no voice or whatever. So that, that would work best. Um, so if you can play an instrument, even if just badly, you could just use that and record it and may maybe even warp it a little beforehand um, or just convert it and then quantize it. Um, and by default, always the grand piano sound is loaded. Uh, which you can change, by the way. And um, so um, let's just listen to it. Turn this off. Not really too exciting yet. First thing I'm going to do is quantize it. Now we need to choose a pat sound or you know different sound because a grand piano doesn't sound all that great with it, I think. Um, okay, so instruments. Yeah, simpler is good than a pad. Let's just take the first one and add that. And let's play it. It's quite loud. Let's just turn it down by 60B. That's better. Sounds pretty good like that, I think. Um, and uh, just to give you a quick idea of how, how we can make like really quick variations. Oops. Just... Um, Duplicate the track and make it an octave higher, for example. And let's duplicate that track as well. And Okay, let's just try that with um, the beat. Alright, so as you can see, now you already have a pretty nice pad sound, you can thin that out if you like. For example here, that would be useful, I think. Maybe just thin that out a little, just take those sounds out and see. Alright, so um, 
In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the melody to MIDI to get a starting point for a bass. All right, see you next time. Bye.